If you do not take an interest in the affairs of your government, then you are doomed to live under the rule of fools. No one is more hated than he who speaks the truth. Reality is created by the mind. We can change our reality by changing our mind. A wise man speaks because he has something to say, a fool because he has to say something. Be kind. Every person you meet is fighting a difficult battle. The right question is usually more important than the right answer. Good people do not need laws to tell them to act responsibly, while bad people will find a way around the laws. Don't force your children into your ways, for they were created for a time different from your own. The first and the best victory is to conquer self. The one who learns and learns and doesn't practice is like the one who plows and plows and never plants. I am the wisest man alive, for I know one thing, and that is that I know nothing. We become what we contemplate. To begin is the most important part of any quest, and by far the most courageous. Mankind will never see an end of trouble until lovers of wisdom come to hold political power, or the holders of power become lovers of wisdom. Human behavior flows from three main sources, desire, emotion, and knowledge. Those who are too smart to engage in politics are punished by being governed by those who are dumber. Poverty doesn't come because of the decrease of wealth, but because of the increase of desires. Those who are able to see beyond the shadows and lies of their culture will never be understood, let alone believed by the masses. If one has made a mistake and fails to correct it, one has made a greater mistake. Enjoy life. There's plenty of time to be dead. Be kind, for everyone you meet is fighting a harder battle. When you feel grateful, you become great and eventually attract great things. The worst of all deceptions is self-deception. You should not honor men more than truth. One of the penalties for refusing to participate in politics is that you end up being governed by your inferiors. Happiness springs from doing good and helping others. He who does not desire power is fit to hold it. Never discourage anyone who continually makes progress, no matter how slow, even if that someone is yourself. Welcome out of the cave, my friend. It's a bit colder out here, but the stars are just beautiful. The worst form of injustice is pretended justice. Thinking is the soul talking to itself. The greatest wealth is to live content with little. A true artist is someone who gives birth to a new reality. Only the dead have seen the end of war. There should exist among the citizens neither extreme poverty nor again excessive wealth, for both are productive of great evil. He who is of a calm and happy nature will hardly feel the pressure of age. Wisest is he who knows what he does not know. The price of apathy towards public affairs is to be ruled by evil men. Complacent ignorance is the most lethal sickness of the soul. A good decision is based on knowledge and not on numbers. It is better to be wise and not to seem so than to seem wise and not be so, yet men, for the most part, desire the contrary. Tyranny naturally arises out of democracy. One cannot make a slave of a free person, for a free person is free even in a prison. False words are not only evil in themselves, but they infect the soul with evil. In an honest man there is always something of a child. A house that has a library in it has a soul. Access to power must be confined to those who are not in love with it. Lack of activity destroys the good condition of every human being. Those who tell the stories rule society. You get to know someone better by playing for an hour than by talking for a year. If we are to have any hope for the future, those who have lanterns must pass them on to others. 
Just as bees make honey from thyme, the strongest and driest of herbs, so do the wise profit from the most difficult of experiences. The measure of a man is what he does with power. But tell me, this physician of whom you were just speaking, is he a moneymaker, an earner of fees, or a healer of the sick? Everything changes and nothing remains still. People are like dirt. They can either nourish you and help you grow as a person, or they can stunt your growth and make you wilt and die. No man should be angry with what is true. Ignorance is the root cause of all difficulties. To win over your bad self is the grandest and foremost of victories. Beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. No one ever dies an atheist. Better a good enemy than a bad friend. When the mind is thinking it is talking to itself, the wise man will want to be ever with him who is better than himself. Do not train children to learning by force and harshness, but direct them to it by what amuses their minds. True friendship can exist only between equals. Better to complete a small task well than to do much imperfectly. Music has the capacity to touch the innermost reaches of the soul, and music gives flight to the imagination. All learning is in the learner, not the teacher. I shall assume that your silence gives consent. I know nothing more worthy of a man's ambition than that his son be the best of men. A tyrant is always stirring up some war or other in order that the people may require a leader. Courage is a kind of salvation. A grateful mind is a great mind which eventually attracts to itself great things. Opinion is the medium between knowledge and ignorance. The noblest of all studies is the study of what man is and of what life he should live. Dictatorship naturally arises out of democracy and the most aggravated form of tyranny and slavery out of the most extreme liberty. Better to be unborn than untaught, for ignorance is the root of all misfortune. People too smart to get involved in politics are doomed to live in societies run by people who aren't. When man is not properly trained, he is the most savage animal on the face of the globe. There are three classes of men, lovers of wisdom, lovers of honor, and lovers of gain. To a good man, nothing that happens is evil. A dog has the soul of a philosopher. If you think your child's academic studies are more important than the arts, think again. Rhetoric is the art of ruling the minds of men. Man is a being in search of meaning. Money makers are tiresome company as they have no standard but cash value. Geometry will draw the soul toward truth and create the spirit of philosophy. If a man neglects education, he walks lame to the end of his life. The purpose of education is to give to the body and to the soul all the beauty and all the perfection of which they are capable. Life should be lived as play. Only those who do not seek power are qualified to hold it. Watch a man at play for an hour and you can learn more about him than in talking to him for a year. He who wishes to serve his country must have not only the power to think, but the will to act. To be at once exceedingly wealthy and good is impossible. Ignorance, the root and the stem of every evil. To escape from evil we must be made as far as possible like God, and the resemblance consists in becoming just and holy and wise. All wars are fought for the sake of getting money. Knowledge which is acquired under compulsion obtains no hold on the mind. The direction in which education starts a man will determine his future life. Geometry existed before creation. Each man is capable of doing one thing well. If he attempts several, he will fail to achieve distinction in any. Atheism is a disease of the soul before it becomes an error of understanding. 
The laws of democracy remain a dead letter. Its freedom is anarchy. Its equality, the equality of unequals. Not to help justice in her need would be an impiety. Where love reigns, there's no need for laws. Nothing ever is, everything is becoming. The first step in learning is the destruction of human conceit. Music is to the mind as air is to the body. The qualities which a man seeks in his beloved are those characteristics of his own soul, whether he knows it or not. Anything worth knowing is already known and must be remembered and reclaimed by the soul. The highest form of pure thought is in mathematics. The essence of knowledge is self-knowledge. I prefer nothing unless it is true. Maximize the power of the beliefs that strengthen you and neutralize those that weaken you. No man should bring children into the world who is unwilling to persevere to the end in their nature and education. Better a little which is well done than a great deal imperfectly. There is no harm in repeating a good thing. Beauty of style and harmony and grace and good rhythm depend on simplicity. I will prove by my life that my critics are liars. You cannot go into the same water twice. Don't quarrel with your parents even if you are on the right. We understand why children are afraid of darkness, but why are men afraid of light? To conquer oneself is the best and noblest victory. To be vanquished by one's own nature is the worst and most ignoble defeat. Pleasure is the greatest incentive to evil. Knowledge is the rediscovering of our own insight. The penalty that good men pay for not being interested in politics is to be governed by men worse than themselves. The good is the beautiful. Take charge of your thoughts. You can do what you will with them. Follow your dream as long as you live. Do not lessen the time of following desire. For wasting time is an abomination of the spirit. No soul willfully does wrong. He who is learning and learning and doesn't apply what he knows is like the one who is plowing and plowing and doesn't seed. A nation will prosper to the degree that it honors its teach or is. Those who intend on becoming great should love neither themselves or their own things, but only what is just whether it happens to be done by themselves or others. A nation will prosper to the degree that it honors its teachers. The wrong use of a thing is far worse than the non-use. Music and rhythm find their way into the secret places of the soul. Friends should have all things in common. Love is a grave mental illness. Democracy leads to anarchy, which is mob rule. Attention to health is life's greatest hindrance. The seen is the changing, the unseen is the unchanging. The excessive increase of anything causes a reaction in the opposite direction. More will be accomplished and better and with more ease if every man does what he is best fitted to do and nothing else. You can't do good if you don't feel good. The cause of all sins in every case lies in the person's excessive love of self. Arguments derived from probabilities are idle. No one is so cowardly that love could not inspire him to heroism. Music is the movement of sound to reach the soul for the education of its virtue. The good man is the only excellent musician because he gives forth a perfect harmony not with a lyre or other instrument but with the whole of his life. Music then is simply the result of the effects of love on rhythm and harmony. The eyes of the soul of the multitudes are unable to endure the vision of the divine. Music gives a soul to the universe. We are bound to our bodies like an oyster to its shell. No one can escape his destiny. The rulers of the state are the only persons who ought to have the privilege of lying, either at home or abroad. They may be allowed to lie for the good of the state. In order to seek one's own direction, one must simplify the mechanics of ordinary, everyday life. 
The most effective kind of education is that a child should play amongst lovely things. Wonder is the beginning of the desire to know the beautiful and the good. A man is not learned until he can read, write and swim. Integrity is your destiny, it is the light that guides your way. We do not learn, and what we call learning is only a process of recollection. A wise ignorance is an essential part of knowledge. The soul of man is immortal and imperishable. The blame is his who chooses, God is blameless. To do injustice is the greatest of all evils. Nothing in the affairs of men is worthy of great anxiety. Ideas are the source of all things. Education in music is most sovereign because more than anything else rhythm and harmony find their way to the innermost soul and take strongest hold upon it. Pleasure is the bait of sin. Love is a serious mental disease. The most important part of education is proper training in the nursery. Knowledge of the soul is the only universal truth and the only wisdom. All other knowledge is transient. Excess generally causes reaction and produces a change in the opposite direction, whether it be in the seasons or in individuals or in governments. No one is a friend to his friend who does not love in return. Lessons, however, that enter the soul against it will never grow roots and will never be preserved inside it. No one ever teaches well who wants to teach or governs well who wants to govern. Wealth and poverty, one is the parent of luxury and indolence and the other of meanness and viciousness and both of discontent. All thought begins with the recognition that something is out of place. Music is a defining element of character. Any man may easily do harm, but not every man can do good to another. Many men are loved by their enemies and hated by their friends and are the friends of their enemies and the enemies of their friends. He who is not a good servant will not be a good master. The more the pleasures of the body fade away, the greater to me is the pleasure and charm of conversation. The soul takes flight to the world that is invisible, but there arriving she is sure of bliss and forever dwells in paradise. No evil can happen to a good man either in life or after death. Man's music is seen as a means of restoring the soul as well as confused and discordant bodily afflictions to the harmonic proportions that it shares with the world soul of the cosmos. Numbers are the highest degree of knowledge. It is knowledge itself. To prefer evil to good is not in human nature. And when a man is compelled to choose one of two evils, no one will choose the greater when he might have the less. There must always remain something that is antagonistic to good. At the touch of love, everyone is a poet. What is honored in a country will be cultivated there. Of all the animals, the boy is the most unmanageable. The dance, of all the arts, is the one that most influences the soul. Dancing is divine in its nature and is the gift of God. Education is teaching our children to desire the right things. All love should be simply stepping stones to the love of God. So it was with me, and blessed be his name for his great goodness and mercy. The man who hath music in his soul will be most in love with the loveliest. Seek truth while you are young, for if you do not, it will later escape your grasp. Let men of all ranks, whether they are successful or unsuccessful, whether they triumph or not, let them do their duty and rest satisfied. The unexamined life is not worth living for a human being. The wisest have the most authority. Whatever deceives men seems to produce a magical enchantment. I fast for greater physical and mental efficiency. Necessity is literally the mother of invention. Justice means minding one's own business and not meddling with other men's concerns. Our object in the construction of the state is the greatest happiness of the whole and not that of any one class. 
The cure of many diseases is unknown to physicians because they are ignorant of the whole, for the part can never be well unless the whole is well. Our love for our children springs from the soul's greatest yearning for immortality. Virtue is voluntary, vice involuntary. Astronomy compels the soul to look upwards and leads us from this world to another. The whole life of the philosopher is a preparation for death. Fly from the company of the wicked, fly and turn not back. No human thing is of serious importance. As the builders say, the larger stones do not lie well without the lesser. We obtain better knowledge of a person during one hour's play and games than by conversing with him for a whole year. All the gold which is under or upon the earth is not enough to give in exchange for virtue. All knowledge is but remembrance. I have hardly ever known a mathematician who was capable of reasoning. The contemplation of beauty causes the soul to grow wings. Wonder is the feeling of the philosopher, and philosophy begins in wonder. Let every man remind their descendants that they also are soldiers who must not desert the ranks of their ancestors or from cowardice fall behind. Excellent things are rare. The beginning is the most important part dot 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 for that is the time character is being formed. I'm trying to think, don't confuse me with facts. The object of knowledge is what exists and its function to know about reality. Democracy passes into despotism. Come then, and let us pass a leisure hour in storytelling, and our story shall be the education of our heroes. God is not the author of all things, but of good only. Justice is nothing more than the advantage of the stronger. One man cannot practice many arts with success. The most beautiful motion is that which accomplishes the greatest results with the least amount of effort. And what, Socrates, is the food of the soul? Surely, I said, knowledge is the food of the soul. Let him know how to choose the mean and avoid the extremes on either side, as far as possible, for this is the way of happiness. When you admonish a wrongdoer, do so gently, that it may not lead to hostility, Man was not made for himself alone. All men, well interrogated, answer well. Thinking, the talking of the soul with itself. Adultery is the injury of nature. As the government is, such will be the man. Madness is a divine release of the soul from the yoke of custom and convention. He whom love touches not walks in darkness. The highest reach of injustice is to be deemed just when you are not. My plainness of speech makes people hate me, and what is their hatred but a proof that I am speaking the truth? There is truth in wine and children. Courage is knowing what to fear. Because it is correct to make a priority of young people, taking care that they turn out as well as possible. Each citizen should play his part in the community according to his individual gifts. To love rightly is to love what is orderly and beautiful in an educated and disciplined way. Education and admonition commence in the first years of childhood and last to the very end of life. I would fain grow old learning many things. The three wishes of every man, to be healthy, to be rich by honest means, and to be beautiful. The proud man is forsaken of God. Let brother help brother. Is there anything worse for a state than to be split and disunited, or anything better than cohesion and unity? Your dog is your only philosopher. Necessity, who is the mother of our invention, Love consists in feeling the sacred one beating inside the loved one. A fit of laughter, which has been indulged to excess, almost always produces a violent reaction. When there is crime in society, there is no justice. 
Excess of liberty, whether it lies in state or individuals, seems only to pass into excess of slavery. The philosopher whose dealings are with divine order himself acquires the characteristics of order and divinity. The wolf cares not how many the sheep be. Not only is the old man twice a child, but also the man who is drunk. An hour of play is worth a lifetime of conversation. To do injustice is more disgraceful than to suffer it. I do not live to play, but I play in order that I may live and return with greater zest to the labors of life. Mankind censure injustice fearing that they may be the victims of it and not because they shrink from committing it. You can remember a single deluge only, but there were many previous ones. No one knows whether death is really the greatest blessing a man can have, but they fear it is the greatest curse, as if they knew well. Knowledge becomes evil if the aim be not virtuous. To fear death, my friends, is only to think ourselves wise without really being wise, for it is to think that we know what we do not know. Kindness which is bestowed on the good is never lost. He who steals a little steals with the same wish as he who steals much, but with less power. Wisdom is a blaze, kindled by a leaping spark. I exhort you also to take part in the great combat, which is the combat of life, and greater than every other earthly conflict. Let nobody speak mischief of anybody. Knowledge is true opinion. Art has no end but its own perfection. No intelligent man will ever be so bold as to put into language those things which his reason has contemplated. The only real ill-doing is the deprivation of knowledge. Love is the pursuit of the whole. The soul should concentrate itself by itself. If particulars are to have meaning, there must be universals. For all good and evil, whether in the body or in human nature, originates in the soul and overflows from thence as from the head into the eyes. Let praise be given equally to women as well as men who have been distinguished in virtue. We are like people looking for something they have in their hands all the time. We're looking in all directions except at the thing we want, which is probably why we haven't found it. Even the gods love jokes. Perhaps there is a pattern set up in the heavens for one who desires to see it, and having seen it, to find one in himself. There's a victory and defeat the first and best of victories, the lowest and worst of defeats which each man gains or sustains at the hands not of another, but of himself. Love is a madness produced by an unsatisfiable rational desire to understand the ultimate truth about the world. For a man to conquer himself is the first and noblest of all victories. To be conquered by yourself is of all things most shameful and vile. The life which is not examined is not worth living. The judge should not be young, he should have learned to know evil, not from his own soul but from late and long observation of the nature of evil in others. Through obedience learn to command. Nothing is more unworthy of a wise man, or ought to trouble him more, than to have allowed more time for trifling and useless things than they deserve. He who can properly define and divide is to be considered a god. Do not expect justice where might is right. No attempt should be made to cure the body without the soul. Train children not by compulsion, but as if they were playing. It is not noble to return evil for evil. At no time ought we to do an injury to our neighbors. Men of sound sense have law for their God, but men without sense pleasure. Most people affirm pleasure to be the good, but the finer sort of wit say it is knowledge. No attempt of curing the body should be made without curing the soul. Love is the joy of the good, the wonder of the wise, the amazement of the gods. It is vain for the sober man to knock at Posey's door. Those who refuse to engage in politics will be led by their inferiors. 
God is truth and light is shadow. This world is indeed a living being endowed with a soul and intelligence, a single visible living entity containing all other living entities, which by their nature are all related. To suffer the penalty of too much haste, which is too little speed, only the dead will know the end of the war. It is through geometry that one purifies the eye of the soul. What a handsome face he had, but if he were naked you would forget he had a face. He is so beautiful in every way. The most important stage of any enterprise is the beginning. If a man be endowed with a generous mind, this is the best kind of nobility. The cure of the part should not be attempted without the cure of the whole. The real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of the light. Man's greatest victory is over oneself. To be curious about that which is not one's concern while still in ignorance of oneself is ridiculous. Life must be lived as play, playing certain games, making sacrifices, singing and dancing, and then a man will be able to propitiate the gods. And is there anything more closely connected with wisdom than truth? The good, of course, is always beautiful, and the beautiful never lacks proportion. Music is a more potent instrument than any other for education. To do wrong is the greatest of evils. You ought not to heal the body without the soul, for this is the great error of our day in treating the human body. I shall never alter my ways, not even if I have to die many times. The punishment which the wise suffer who refuse to take part in the government is to live under the government of worse men. The gods created certain kinds of beings to replenish our bodies. They are the trees and the plants and the seeds. All who do evil and dishonorable things do them against their will. Abstinence is the surety of temperance. That a guardian should require another guardian to take care of him is ridiculous indeed. Hardly any human being is capable of pursuing two professions or two arts rightly. Geometry draws the soul towards truth. Mathematics is the language in which the gods talk to people. When you swear, swear seriously and solemnly, but at the same time with a smile, for a smile is the twin sister of seriousness. Those who reproach injustice do so because they are afraid not of doing it but of suffering it. For every man who has learned to fight in arms will desire to learn the proper arrangement of an army, which is the sequel of the lesson. Self-conquest is the greatest of victories. The God, O oh men, seems to me to be really wise, and by his oracle to mean this, that the wisdom of this world is foolishness and of none effect. I am about to die, and that is the hour in which men are gifted with prophetic power. So the nature required to make a really noble guardian of our commonwealth will be swift and strong, spirited and philosophic. Let parents bequeath to their children not riches, but the spirit of reverence. If we are ever to have pure knowledge of anything, we must get rid of the body and contemplate things by themselves with the soul by itself. Beauty is a natural superiority. States are as the men, they grow out of human characters. It would be better for me that multitudes of men should disagree with me rather than that I, being one, should be out of harmony with myself. Pepper is small in quantity and great in virtue. The community which has neither poverty nor riches will always have the noblest principles. All I really know is the extent of my own ignorance. Those whose hearts are fixed on reality itself deserve the title of philosophers. When men speak ill of thee, lie so that nobody will believe them. Love is the joy of the good, the wonder of the wise, the amazement of the gods, desired by those who have no part in him, and precious to those who have the better part in him. Who are the true philosophers, those whose passion is to love the truth, Discordance is evil, harmony is virtue. 
If a man can be properly said to love something, it must be clear that he feels affection for it as a whole and does not love part of it to the exclusion of the rest. No law or ordinance is mightier than understanding. The race of the guardians must be kept pure. Then not only an old man, but also a drunkard, becomes a second time a child. Worthy of honor is he who does no injustice, and more than twofold honor, if he not only does no injustice himself, but hinders others from doing any. May I do to others as I would that they should do unto me. Arrogance is ever accompanied by folly. We should not exercise the body without the joint assistance of the mind, nor exercise the mind without the joint assistance of the body. There is in every one of us, even those who seem to be most moderate, a type of desire that is terrible, wild, and lawless. If there is a good and wise God, then there also exists a progress of humanity toward perfection. Of all the things of a man's soul which he has within him, justice is the greatest good and injustice the greatest evil. Poets utter great and wise things which they do not themselves understand. When the tyrant has disposed of foreign enemies by conquest dot dot dot, and there is nothing to fear from them, then he is always stirring up some war. I to die and you to live, which is better God only knows. Renouncing the honors at which the world aims, I desire only to know the truth, and to the maximum of power, I exhort all other men to do the same. Give me a different set of mothers, and I will give you a different world. For this feeling of wonder shows that you are a philosopher, since wonder is the only beginning of philosophy. The prisoner grows to love his chains. Virtue is a kind of health, beauty and good habit of the soul. Love is an intermediate state between possession and deprivation. If you are wise, all men will be your friends and kindred, for you will be useful. Love is the name for our pursuit of wholeness, for our desire to be complete. Do not use compulsion, but let early education be rather a sort of amusement. Love is a severe mental disorder, Love is born into every human being. It calls back the halves of our original nature together. It tries to make one out of two and heal the wound of human nature. Injustice is censured because the censures are afraid of suffering and not from any fear which they have of doing injustice. A state would be happy where philosophers were kings or kings philosophers. As the proverb says, a good beginning is half the business, and to have begun well is praised by all. Many are the thesis bearers, but few are the mystics. Nothing more excellent or valuable than wine was ever granted by the gods to man. There still remain three studies suitable for free man. Arithmetic is one of them. To go to the world below, having a soul which is like a vessel full of injustice, is the last and worst of all the evils. Twice and thrice over, as they say, good is it to repeat and review what is good. When the music changes, the walls of the city shake. Don't ask a poet to explain himself, he cannot. Everything that deceives may be said to enchant. I must yield to you, for you are irresistible. Either we shall find what it is we are seeking or at least we shall free ourselves from the persuasion that we know what we do not know. There is far greater peril in buying knowledge than in buying meat and drink. That is very high praise which is given you by faithful witness. Before all it's necessary to look after the soul if you want the head and the rest of the body to function correctly. For it is obvious to everybody, I think, that this study compels the soul to look upward and leads it away from things here to higher things. It is right to give every man his due. I do believe that there are gods, and in a far higher sense than that in which any of my accusers believe in them. Nothing in human affairs is worth any great anxiety. You ought not attempt to cure the eyes without the head, 
or the head without the body, so neither ought you attempt to cure the body without the soul. Socrates is guilty of corrupting the minds of the young and of believing in deities of his own invention instead of the gods recognized by the state. He whom loves touches not walks in darkness. Wise men speak because they have something to say. Prefer diligence before idleness unless you esteem rust above brightness. The heaviest penalty for deciding to engage in politics is to be ruled by someone inferior to yourself. Let him take heart who does advance, even in the smallest degree. Hence it is from the representation of things spoken by means of posture and gesture that the whole of the art of dance has been elaborated. If it is naturally in you to be a good orator, a notable orator you will be when you have acquired knowledge and practice. The most virtuous are those who content themselves with being virtuous without seeking to appear so. Wine fills the heart with courage. No man's nature is able to know what is best for the social state of man, or, knowing, always able to do what is best. They deem him their worst enemy who tells them the truth. It is impossible to conceive of many without one. The truth is that we isolate a particular kind of love and appropriate it for the name of love, which really belongs to a wider whole. Of all the gods, love is the best friend of humankind, the helper and healer of all ills that stand in the way of human happiness. Virtue is relative to the actions and ages of each of us in all that we do. There are few people so stubborn in their atheism who, when danger is pressing in, will not acknowledge the divine power.
Those who have knowledge are more confident than those who have no knowledge, and they are more confident after they have learned than before. Those having torches will pass them on to others. When there is an income tax, the just man will pay more, and the unjust less on the same amount of income. We ought to esteem it of the greatest importance that the fictions which children first hear should be adapted in the most perfect manner to the promotion of virtue. Wealth is well known to be a great comforter. In order to be a good soldier, it is necessary to know how to dance. Wealth does not bring excellence, but that wealth comes from excellence. You cannot conceive the many without the one. Any city, however small, is in fact divided into two, one the city of the poor, the other of the rich. These are at war with one another. I should not like to say that any kind of knowledge is not to be learned, for all knowledge appears to be a good. A good man cannot be harmed either in life or in death, and his affairs are not neglected by the gods. There is a matter much more valuable and divine than natural philosophy. On this matter I must speak to you in enigmas. As there are misanthropists or haters of men, so also are there misologists or haters of ideas. Books are immortal sons deifying their sires. He who has followed the path of love's initiation in the proper order will on arriving at the end suddenly perceive a marvelous beauty, the source of all our efforts. To him who disgraces his family life is no life, and to such a person there is no one a friend, neither while living nor when dead. I know too well that these arguments from probabilities are impostors, and unless great caution is observed in the use of them, they are apt to be deceptive. As to the artist, do we not know that he only of them whom love inspires has the light of fame? He whom love touches not walks in darkness. Is it not the excess and greed of this and the neglect of all other things that revolutionizes this constitution too and prepares the way for the necessity of a dictatorship? Lord of Lords, grant us the good whether we pray for it or not, but evil keep from us even though we pray for it. Freedom in a democracy is the glory of the state, and, therefore, in a democracy only will the freemen of nature deign to dwell. Justice is having and doing what is one's own. The knowledge of which geometry aims is the knowledge of the eternal. Lust is inseparably accompanied with the troubling of all order, with impudence, unseemliness, sloth, and dissoluteness. The power of the good has taken refuge in the nature of the beautiful. And the quality of good judgment is clearly a form of knowledge and skill, as it is because of knowledge and not because of ignorance that we judge well. Musical innovation is full of danger to the state, for when modes of music change, the laws of the state always change with them. The greatest mistake in the treatment of diseases is that there are physicians for the body and physicians for the soul, although the two cannot be separated. Only a philosopher's mind grows wings, since its memory always keeps it as close as possible to those realities by being close to which the gods are divine. No town can live peacefully whatever its laws when its citizens do nothing but feast and drink and tire themselves out in the cares of love. For as there are misanthropists or haters of men, there are also misologists or haters of ideas and both spring from the same cause, which is ignorance of the world. An old man is twice a child and so is a drunken man. The only thing worse than suffering and injustice is committing an injustice. Trees and fields tell me nothing, men are my teachers. I do not think it is permitted that a better man be harmed by a worse. Philosophy is the highest music. Of all the animals, the boy is the most unmanageable, inasmuch as he has the fountain of reason in him not yet regulated. They do certainly give very strange and newfangled names to diseases. All well-bred men should have mastered the art of singing and dancing. 
be kind, for everyone is having a hard battle. Education is the constraining and directing of youth towards that right reason, which the law affirms, and which the experience of the best of our... has agreed to be truly right. Every serious man in dealing with really serious subjects carefully avoids writing. There does not exist, nor will there ever exist, any writing of mine dealing with this subject. The flute is not an instrument that has a good moral effect. It is too exciting. The passionate are like men standing on their heads. They see all things the wrong way. Few men are so obstinate in their atheism that a pressing danger will not compel them to acknowledgement of a divine power. You must base the wisdom on love. Time is the moving amago of the unmoving eternity. Wisdom alone is the science of other sciences. The fear of death is indeed the pretense of wisdom and not real wisdom, being the appearance of knowing the unknown. He who has knowledge of the just and the good and beautiful will not, when in earnest, write them in ink. When a man drinks wine at dinner, he begins to be better pleased with himself. Boys should abstain from all use of wine until their 18th year, for it is wrong to add fire to fire. A man who really fights for justice must lead a private, not a public, life if he is to survive for even a short time. Everywhere there is one principle of justice, which is the interest of the stronger. Love, a grave mental disease. Love is simply the name for the desire and pursuit of the whole. 
Music gives wings to the mind and flight to the imagination. Every soul pursues the good and does whatever it does for its sake. It behooves those who take the young to task to leave them room for excuse, lest they drive them to be hardened by too much rebuke. A work well begun is half ended. You need some knowledge to recognize knowledge, so where does the first knowledge come from? Entire ignorance is not so terrible or extreme and evil, and is far from being the greatest of all. He that lendeth to another in time of prosperity shall never want help himself in the time of adversity. What then is the right way to live? Life should be lived as play. It is our duty to select the best and most dependable theory that human intelligence can supply and use it as a raft to ride the seas of life. And we have made of ourselves living cesspools and driven doctors to invent names for our diseases. There are some whom the applause of the multitude has deluded into the belief that they are really statesmen. No trace of slavery ought to mix with the studies of the freeborn man. No study pursued under compulsion remains rooted in the memory. The best stomachs are not those which reject all foods. Truth is its own reward. This city is what it is because our citizens are what they are. Experience proves that anyone who has studied geometry is infinitely quicker to grasp difficult subjects than one who has not. It is as expedient that a wicked man be punished as that a sick man be cured by a physician, for all chastisement is a kind of medicine. Those who practice philosophy in the right way are in training for dying, and they fear death least of all men. Honesty is for the most part less profitable than dishonesty. Putting the shoe on the wrong foot. Can any man be courageous who has the fear of death in him? A good education consists in knowing how to sing and dance well. Desires are only the lack of something, and those who have the greatest desires are in a worse condition than those who have none, or very slight ones. When a person supposes that he knows and does not know, this appears to be the great source of all the errors of the intellect. For the rhapsode ought to interpret the mind of the poet to his hearers, but how can he interpret him well unless he knows what he means? If you are willing to reflect on the courage and moderation of other people, you will find them strange. When a benefit is wrongly conferred, the author of the benefit may often be said to injure. A delightful form of government, anarchic and maudly, assigning a kind of equality indiscriminately to equals and unequals alike. The soul is like a pair of winged horses and a charioteer joined in natural union. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments. Don't miss out on a chance to see the next video. Subscribe.